Okay, welcome to a new episode of Farm Like a Hero, folks. I'm Richard Perkins. Today I'm here with JM from Krautgart, which is a no-dig CSA in Luxembourg. Uh, it's founded in 2016. Today the farm is serving around 130 members, as well as a restaurant from approximately one acre or 4,000 square meters of growing space. And the farm employs a team of three people, along with an apprentice. The produce is collected by members uh, weekly over a 34-week period. And both the original founders, JM and Max, have been over at our farm for past food poultry and market gun training. So also featured in our book, Regenerative Agriculture. I think this is a super exciting farm, started up at super low cost. And I think listeners are going to get a lot of insights and value out of this. So JM, thanks so much for taking the time to, to join us today. Yeah, thank you too. It's really exciting to, to be part of this. And I'm really looking forward to to the whole what this is going to to look like what you're going to to create and uh, i think it's going to be uh, besides the book already uh, uh, a precious resource for for everybody who is running a farm already and wants to change some stuff or get get some inspiration or yeah just wants to get started to, to show that it's possible and there are many different contexts you you can start from Thanks for joining us. And so maybe you could just give us a snapshot of where you're at now. Is that correct? You're serving around 130 members. The numbers um, you mentioned are from last season. So this year it's uh, similar, but we um, um, serving this year 140 members. We increased uh, the, uh, the number of beds. So this year, the market garden is around, uh, it's, it's more than one acre, it's 45 halves. Do you say like this in, in English? It's nearly, it's nearly in hec uh, half a hectare. Yeah, and um, the team is growing too. We have, uh, we are three full-time uh, partners and uh, one apprentice. Uh, one woofer and uh, we are uh, hiring uh, probably next month uh, one more uh, an, an employee a market gardener. Scaling up and you you're driving a great yeah. revenue and you've built up a, a really nice business but I'd like to jump back to the start because you and Max actually started this project up while you were still at university right? Yeah yeah we started back in uh, 2015 that was the first ideas coming up and uh, yeah I was uh, writing my master's thesis uh, in environmental sciences about, uh, about beavers and uh, Max just finished his one in, uh, in botany uh, also a master's thesis and uh, yeah we just we had uh, several experiences in this year and the year before that we just uh, spent a lot of time in in the office or in behind the books and uh, and yeah it just didn't suit us very well and we thought okay what I am going to do with my degree after this I don't want to end up in an office and uh, I don't know uh, yeah we felt we could all make a, a bigger difference through doing something with the knowledge we acquired over the years and uh, through doing something really on the on the field so because that's yeah and so that was a little the i the, the german the germ or the uh, where we started and then yeah we just started with we didn't even know this would be would go to professional market gardening it was more like okay let's let's do a garden we want to do this and then see where it goes we actually were three people uh, one of them left us pretty fast because he yeah he had more like a really romantic picture and he said uh, sitting on a tractor and driving around and having a good time making barbecue all the time but uh, yeah that's p p part of it too but not the yeah not the main thing so yeah and from there it started we uh, we in the first year it was like okay we had a lot of good feedback and people actually we grew potatoes mainly because uh, we didn't have much time and uh, yeah so we started with that and uh, everybody wanted to have these potatoes so we saw okay there's really a, a very local demand for good food 
and uh, we saw that uh, people really appreciate knowing the producer and that we really uh, got huge satisfaction out of the fact that uh, yeah from the feedback from our first customers uh, so to speak and yeah so from there on we decided to make a test year in 2016 uh, starting with the CSA was the plan but then it was a little yeah we didn't want to uh, yeah we we went too fast so we saw we during the see the first season we uh, we saw actually because we didn't have any both of us no farming or market gardening background uh, so we had to learn a lot this first season too and so we didn't want to take the risk uh, to disappoint our customers so we switched pretty fast to a, a local market stand where just people could come and buy what's there and that was the preparation for starting the CSA in 2017. Let, let's have a look at that then. So you, you're both university students strapped for cash. I know you, you started this up at super low cost. You put like less than 15,000 euros in. And that's an incredibly achievable startup cost for any business. But how did you go about, like, how did you get land? You're on rented land, right? How did you go about finding access to land? When we started the project, uh, we were looking. It was quite easy to find a piece of land because we uh, we didn't have really high expectations, and it wasn't like okay, this is going to be a farm. Uh, so we that we talked to some people, and uh, we got a small piece of land that is probably the worst piece of land to grow vegetables on. Okay, but we didn't have anything else. To listen in to unedited long-form conversation, I'm super excited to announce the Farm Like a Hero experience is now live. Our 2020 special features more than 70 interviews with Europe's best regenerative farmers in long-form conversation, weekly Q&A sessions with myself, as well as the private Facebook community. Our Epic Hero membership is now only open until June the 11th, so join now at farmlikeahero.com and we'll see you in there.